This is uh, Ben J's Custom. Back at it again. I'm giving y'all an update. This is part two to the video. Um, as you can see right here, this is the 6 old block. Let's see if I can get y'all a shot of that. Uh, there it is, upside down. But this is after the block been degreased and painted. Um, right here, going with the cast iron. Look on this one. Been painted cast iron color, VHT. I use VHT because it's just a good product. Um, it's up to holds high heat. Uh, I'll show you a video of the can in a minute as soon as I find it. Um, but again, this is the block. This is the finished product after it's been painted. I've already started installing the, uh, the crankshaft burns. Most people call them the main cap burns. I got all those in there. I'll um, be putting the crankshaft in next. Block was a little ashy and they put a little WD-40 down off in there, but this is one block. And uh, I cleaned the cylinders out with some, some acetone. Get them cylinder walls real clean. Make sure there wasn't nothing in there. Uh, let's go over here to this block. Right here, this one has to be painted again, but I got it primer down black. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and paint it a gloss black on the outside. This is the five three block. Let me get you a shot of that. It's upside down, but you see where I'm going with it. This one has been degreased and clean. Right now, installing the burns. Going to install the crank at the same time. Um, I wash these cylinder walls down with acetone too. Get all them particles out of there. I'm trying to find the can of VHT so I can let y'all see. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, it's a VHT. Probably seen it in some of my previous videos. VHT need to go ahead and sponsor BJ's Custom. Send us some product. But yeah, this is the, the the finished product of it. Looks real good. Scratch it, still won't come off. I like it. It's up to uh, 550 Fahrenheit. Uh, they have all types. They have chassis paint, engine paint, um, all types for whatever uh, project you got going on. Uh, just giving y'all an update again. There's the 5.3. And we're going to be putting the crank in and moving a little further. I'll update y'all in a minute. All right. This is another part of the video. I just wanted to show you, which I got this one flipped over already and the pin in the engine stand. But I just wanted to show you. Got everything um, torqued down. Got the crankshaft in. Let me go ahead and give it a little spin so you can see it working freely now. That's showing you the crankshaft down there spinning freely. Got it all torqued and the main caps on and torqued down. Um, still got to put the lifters in, the lifter trays, the um, pistons. We got to put the piston rings and all of the stuff on the pistons and then we'll probably install them next um, but I was just giving y'all an update that's the 5.3 here's the 6.0 now this one is upside down where you can see all of the main caps are torqued they got different torque specs the, um, the center bolts got different torque specs than the outer bolts and um and it's got a little sequence you gotta go into to get them torqued down correctly. But let me give y'all a little a little shot of that one turning. That one turns freely by hand. And like I said, all oh, that's good. Uh, we using Lucas. 
assembly loop, put it all together. Like I say, this this block here too, the same as the other one. Gonna have to put the lifters. I'm um, gonna have to put the uh, piston rings in. I'm gonna put the piston rings on the pistons and install the pistons and then get those torqued down. And then we can go ahead and move forward. But uh, that's it for right now. Just give me all a little video of that. Um, it's coming get, coming together very nice. All right, I'll update y'all later on on the on the bills.